among all the videos that I've made, I think this is the only one where I get to be just just me and not pretend to be a doctor of love or be an expert in English. Well, for that part, it's true at a certain degree if you ask others who have learned from me. But what I mean to say is for this video, since I'm filming during the time of this novel global pandemic, I've decided to come up with a special series that focuses on my experience during this time of enhanced community quarantine. It's the only time that I got quarantined, just like most of us probably. If you ask a healthy person like me, who rarely gets sick, being stuck at home and not being allowed to go out, unless for urgent matters, is really, how should I put it, seems surreal. However, I think this quarantine period is not entirely bad as how it is being framed by the media or how many consumers of media understand it to be. You can think of this special series as a way of probably finding a voice that resonates with your um, with your beliefs about the situation that it's not only for people who it's not only about protecting our physical bodies from infection I think this quarantine is also a way to give people a break from the toxicity in their respective workplaces outside home with problems that they want to for a while at least forget it is really an opportunity to get those stuff out of your mind the people you don't like seeing whenever you go to this place on an everyday basis at least now you don't have to deal with them but despite that I just realized there's this irony in the way human beings think we always are preoccupied with things that are not in front of our noses but rather with things that are not here in this moment pustahan tayo sa ngayon ba naiisip nyo ba yung pag-aaral nyo yung mga katrabaho nyo kaysa sa mga gawain bahay na kung saan in charge kayo pag-uugas ng plato pamamlansya paglalaba etc Diba? So that's what I mean. Ironically, even if I'm just at home, I still think about what's going on in where I work at, usually. And I also have work here at home, but nonetheless, what the quarantine can actually do to help me right now is to recover well recovery is not only for those who are physically sick who are showing the symptoms of COVID-19 but recovery in the sense in a psychological sense at least now for a, a, a while at least for a number of weeks I get to deliberately yes deliberately let my thoughts simmer I get to think about the things that I usually forget because I should deliberately forget while I'm at work or while I'm busy serving others whether that be in church or in school well the only service that I can deliver is through how I communicate through on uh, yes through online means through the camera and I'd say that it's not a bad idea at all 
it's not a bad idea at all to for at least a number of weeks for um, just uh, this once to have minimal contact or no contact a physical contact at all with large crowds of people at least now I get to rest and figure out why on earth I'm alive for the first lesson that um, has conquered most of the space in my mind nowadays during the quarantine is the value of solitude. In our culture, being alone is avoided. Well, in my case, because every day I'm used to people approaching me with their respective problems and of course, I give them my undivided attention. Solitude makes me or helps me direct this undivided attention onto myself. We are we have been taught spiritually that to give is better than to receive. But here's my take also. We are also one of the recipients of that goodness, even if it's our own bodies that do the benefiting. And if we exclude ourselves from the list of recipients, then how will we be able to have the means, the resources to serve others if we neglect meeting our own? So it's good that, in a way, at a certain degree, experiencing be, uh, being quarantined this long, is an opportunity for people like me who crave for solitude, for recovery, for creativity, to focus on what has been neglected while staying outside. Well, at least during this period, I'll be able to gather the energy that I'll be needing when I return to the outside world. At least for now, at least for now, I get to be myself with all of you guys and gals who have, until this point, constantly stayed with Nocturnal Sage. I want this to be a platform also for you, for recovery, if in case we have the same thinking about the situation, I'm glad that we've had common ground. So if you want to share your experiences also during this quarantine, or if you're beliefs resonate with mine feel free to share your thoughts via the comment section below well i said i was going to be true for this episode so just this once no solicitation for likes or following but if you do and hit that like button down there i would sure appreciate that it will give me the encouragement to make more of this kind of these uh, kinds of videos because it's a sign that I, it's helping you that's actually what I want to do as an, as an influencer I want to help promote progressive discourse okay I'm using sophisticated terms I just want to help people be in be engaged in worthwhile conversations even if I don't know you personally if you benefit from this kind of exchange then that is uh, an achievement for myself already. The value of solitude really enabled me to think of outlandish ideas such as this, make a playlist dedicated to my meditations during the quarantine period, and yes, maybe you're thinking I could have started on the first day, but during those first days, I've been busy corresponding with people regarding their per their emergencies with yes people I'm referring with people I'm referring to my clients but now see, uh, yes the correspond the exchange is still ongoing but now I've decided to block out time for this those who rely on this platform uh, are also my clients and I just want to say that you you don't have to pity yourself for being alone at home because the irony of solitude is you're not the only one who's alone if you have the need for 
company more need than I ever do then I just want to tell you that there's you can find true company as well by remembering you're not the only one who's alone and that the person or persons living next door also may have the same uh, situation as you and that's true company we're all doing the same thing being alone engaging in solitary activities I'm not happy that many people are dying because of the pandemic just, just uh, to be clear but what I am happy about is that those like me calling out for the introverts out there or ambiverts okay I'm not a fan of labels anymore as I used to be but if you're the person who craves for alone time I want you to cherish that moment right now that you're alone listening to me we're both alone so if you want company I can be that company since you decided to watch this or if you're not talking with anyone no one's talking to you you have yourself to converse with so I encourage you you know during this time of quarantine take advantage of the opportunity to talk to yourself we never make fun of children when they self-talk when we were kids we did self-talk while playing with our favorite action figures and we were not called insane so I believe the same goes for adults or teenagers or any age group for that matter to do self-talk if you're alone because it can be therapeutic maybe this outbreak happened no matter what religion you believe in or if you're atheistic I think for a reason this quarantine occurred because it's time now that people withdraw from their daily affairs and establish and engage in something irregular and this irregularity will remind us of who we truly are and how we ought to exist in the world so that's my main takeaway for which day is it oh yeah it's already the third week of quarantine period so that's what I've learned so far the value of solitude thank you for listening and if you hit that like button down there I truly appreciate that but I'm not making this video to get monetized but it's my contribution to society my alternative form of service you know to be a boundless form of benefaction for others stay tuned for another episode of my meditations during the quarantine thank you for tuning in once again to nocturnal on uh, tuning in to nocturnal sage i'm jeremy and this is goodbye till next time